Hello there, I'm Patrick Lloyd, and what I'm going to talk about here is a video regarding um, the laboratory syllabus for those of you that are doing the on-site, on-campus laboratory meetings. So that would be section W12LB. Those of you that are in LA, there's a separate video for you on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the syllabus. Oops. Got the wrong one there. That's all right. I'll just switch it over. There we go. So there is the syllabus for the um, LB component. All right. So you'll be meeting on campus. We'll be meeting on campus. We have 12 reports that you'll be turning in for this laboratory, and they're all done in room S324, synchronous mode. So below are some step-by-step -step instructions. So before each meeting, there's um, three things you wanna do. The first is to read the laboratory procedure. Each laboratory procedure will be available in the course content folder in Blackboard. And each procedure is also available on the Kingsborough website. Although, to be honest with you, I don't recommend going to the website because um, they're not all there. They're not in order. The website is kind of a mess. So I've put it, I've posted them all into Blackboard. So that's probably the better way to do it. Okay. So let me show you where those are. Um, here we go. Course content. So here's the course syllabus, the laboratory syllabus for section LA, but you're in section LB. So that would be this one right here. Um, so that's the syllabus I'm going over. And here we go. These are all the procedures, right? You'll see that there are 12 procedures here. These are the PDF forms. So those are the ones that you'll open up and read, go over them before you come to laboratory. So the first one, for example, is the density procedure. So if you click on that one and open it, let me see if I can find it in here. All right, it's not there. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and, oh, here it is, I'm sorry. There we go. So there's the density, right? Um, it has a reading assignment from a textbook. It then has the goals, equipment and materials, discussion with some theoretical background, just giving you an idea of what you're gonna be doing, okay? What you're gonna be studying here, okay? Then the procedure comes in. Procedure is usually on the second or third page. And the procedure will give you some safety precautions and then go you through step by step. So these are the steps you're going to be doing in the laboratory. So you want to go over these steps before you come. It also shows you how to do the calculations, which will be useful for submitting your report. Okay. Observations, any observations while you're doing the experiment. Then there's a data sheet. So this is where you're going to put in all your numbers, all the numbers that you're, you're uh, recording when you observe them and doing your calculations as well. It's also, it's a data and calculation sheet, right? And then there's a calculation sheet at the end. This is where you're gonna show the step-by-step -step calculation. So for example, you're just gonna measure the mass of the metal, but you're gonna calculate its density. So that calculation, you're gonna show step-by-step -step on this calculation sheet, how you did that calculation. And then in the end, what you'll do is you'll just turn in, you'll just submit the observation, the data report and the calculation sheet. You just staple those two or three together and um, submit those at the end of the day, at the end of the, of the laboratory meeting, okay? So these pages up here, you keep those. You're, gonna, you're not gonna turn those in, okay? Now, um, coming back over here, this is the website at Kingsborough where it has all the experiments. Again, it's kind of a mess there. We're trying to get that worked on. Okay. Now, the second thing you want to do prior to coming to the laboratory is to watch an actual demonstration of the experiment performed by a laboratory technician. Okay. So Alexander Gorbenko and Mike Danzo worked on these. So there's a YouTube site that you can go to and they're all there, right? So the density, for example, is right here, KCC, full 20, chem 11 density, right? So that experiment, you can watch that video. This one takes about a half hour. Some of them are about a half hour. Um, and those videos will give you an idea of what you're gonna be doing so that you're not coming in unaware of what you're gonna be doing. So you can watch the video before you come in as well, okay? 
Um, step three, this is urgent. Now, this is really, in a sense, um, what you have to do before you come into the laboratory. You have to come into the laboratory on time. You have to come in at the assigned time. You have to bring a laboratory coat, safety goggles, disposable gloves, and a face mask. The first meeting where we do density, that's an exception because we're, we're not requiring people to meet all these criteria for the first meeting. But beginning with the second meeting, which is only on Wednesday, January 5th, it's only two days later after the first meeting, you gotta have all this, you gotta come in. Otherwise you're not allowed to work in the laboratory. So failure to meet any of these requirements will result in expulsion from the meeting. You're just not allowed to do the experiment. If the instructor, technician, or health and safety officer suspects that you are unprepared to perform the experiment safely, you will be asked to leave the laboratory meeting. We don't have exceptions for that. So if you didn't bring your gloves, if you didn't bring your goggles, if you didn't bring your um, lab coat or face mask, you just cannot perform the experiment, okay? Um, there's reasons for that. It involves what we use in terms of fire, hazardous chemicals, all of those sorts of things. So cannot allow you to do that. Attendance will be taken at the beginning of each meeting. Um, arriving after attendance has been taken will also result in expulsion from the meeting. So if you if you can't make it on time, you just need to switch over. You know, we can see if we can switch you over to the asynchronous mode. Um, the expectation is that everybody comes to the laboratory prepared, on time, ready to go, keeping in mind that you're going to have to get through public safety. And, you know, depending on what days it is, sometimes they're, you know, a little stricter and slower. It may take you longer to get through onto campus. So um, if you feel like, you know, getting in at nine o'clock, actually probably getting in around 840, just so that you can make sure that you're on, you know, in the laboratory by nine, if that's not possible or you suspect that's not possible, just get in touch with me. We'll see if we can put you into the asynchronous laboratory, okay? All right, um, in the first meeting, Mike Danza is gonna go, or one of the technicians will go over more details about the goggles. The main thing is the goggles have to have a seal around your eye sockets um, and so forth and so on, okay? There'll be a separate video or a separate lecture on that the first meeting. Each meeting, you'll submit data and calculation sheets, which I just went over for the density, um, and then that's what's going to be graded. I will grade that, okay? It's most of the time you can finish the calculations in the meeting, but if for some reason you can't, then you need to submit them at the beginning of the next meeting. So if we're meeting on a Wednesday, you know, you got a five-day period till the next Monday, but if for me, actually, there's one time where we actually meet on a Tuesday because of the change of the calendar. So we'll have a meeting on Tuesday and a meeting on Wednesday. So if you don't finish your calculations on Tuesday, you need to bring them in on Wednesday, okay? So all the details are grading there. Okay, here is the schedule, okay? And um, the vid numbered videos are, are linked there as well. So um, we're gonna do density on Monday, January 3rd. Then we're gonna do volumetric of I'm sorry, calibration of volumetric glassware on Wednesday, January 5th, so forth and so on. I did put this in bold here for the fifth meeting, the bleach titration, because that's one of those conversion days. Monday, the 17th is a holiday. And so we're meeting instead of on Monday, we're meeting on Tuesday. So that one is in bold there. So it's very fast. Boom, boom, boom. Six weeks and we're done. Okay. So you'll have to really stay on top of it. And there you go. That's it. All right. So um, good luck with everything. And um, the laboratory is fun. It's actually a fun laboratory. A couple of experiments are very tricky and really detail oriented, but a couple of them are a lot of fun to do as well.